Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Dawn, also known as Dragon Rider. And in this video, I want to talk about some tips and tricks for kind of quickly grinding through and getting the Task 7 equipment for specific mercenaries that you want to get those equipments for. So the first thing is putting together your party. Now, you're not going to actually put together a full party, only use three or maybe four mercenaries. I personally have been liking four just because I can easily work on completing tasks and making sure I have space in my campfire to collect a new task when it pops up. I also recommend that you choose at least two of the four that are higher level so that you can grind the heroic, but you should be able to do this on pretty much any map, but I'll show you the two that have been the most popular to use so far. Once you've created your party, you want to head into ideally the Barons on Heroic. And there are two specific maps or bounties that are the best to do this. And that is the Air Elemental and Serena Bloodfeather. I've personally been doing Serena Bloodfeather. As you can see the check mark here. Again, you can always hover over this chest and it will show you what coins to expect, but a lot of time for this specific grinding, I'm not actually completing the bounty fully. Sometimes I am, but not always. So you're going to head into the bounty, select your party that you want to grind with. I have three of the four that are actually maxed out at level 30 and Sylvanas isn't leveled yet, but let's say I want to work on getting her task seven completed and maybe if i haven't gotten all of the tasks i can actually work on several at once so i want to choose and lock in this party now the big thing here is that you'll notice this third encounter space is actually always going to have a mystery and what we're looking for here is being able to quickly get to this mystery to get the mysterious stranger. If it's not a mysterious stranger, honestly, the fastest thing to do is actually go down and retire from the run and just restart. One thing I have noticed with doing this is sometimes in the second encounter spot, there actually ends up being a spirit healer or a boon to buff you know, one of the, the types. Uh, so that can make it a little bit faster because you don't actually have to go in and do a fight. You can easily just quickly climb to the mystery. So the thing again here, you're looking for the mysterious stranger. And the reason that we only run four mercenaries or maybe even three if you're really going specific. Uh, but I think four works a little better. You go for four mercenaries because when you get to the mysterious stranger, it only th shows three options. It will give you basically a discover option, but three mercenaries that are in your party. So in limiting the amount of mercenaries you have in your party, it basically guarantees which mercenaries you will get offered from that mysterious stranger to give you a task for your task board. One thing to keep in mind and why I kind of actually have liked, I've tried both three and four mercenaries. And one reason why I like having four is because you might not be able to complete one that requires you to use an ability a certain amount of times uh, before you get offered another mysterious stranger. So being able to kind of have another mercenary in your party that you want to get tasks for makes it a little bit easier. Or in case you have some tasks on your board already from just the day starting and those tasks popping up, you probably want to put one of those in your party, maybe as the fourth one. That way you can actually work towards completing a quest and getting it off of your bounty board to make sure that you have space. One big issue you can run into if you just try immediately grinding is your campfire board is full. And if you select a mercenary from that mysterious stranger offering and your campfire is full, it just gives you coins and not a task. But if you're trying to grind for the equipment you need to actually complete the tasks that's why i again like having four mercenaries so that i always make sure that i am able to complete tasks get them off the board so that i have space to pick up another task now there's a couple of little tricks that i've also found to make this even faster if you're really trying to just maximize how quickly you do this using this campfire button at the bottom of 
the run pulls up the board for you. So if you have completed a bouncy, you can go here and select it when it's completed. Instead of having to back out, go to a different screen, select something else, go back in, it just reduces the time it takes. And the other thing is not using mercenaries like the Lich King and Diablo that have the voice lines at the end of a match. If you want to work on those specific mercenaries, obviously you want to include those, but if you're working on different mercenaries and you want to increase the time, don't include something that has a special voice line. Uh, just cuts down those couple of seconds at the end of each run. And you're going to be doing a lot of these in a fairly short amount of time repetitively. So it just cuts out a little bit of extra time. When you get some of the tasks that say beat a boss or complete a bouncy, you can do the same bouncy over and over. So for example, if the task is to beat two heroic bosses, you can do Serena Bloodfeather twice and it will still count and complete that task for you. So it doesn't have to be different bounties. It can be the same one. And this can be for whether you're grinding with this quick strategy or not. It's just a good thing to know. You can do the same one, which is very effective when you want to quickly grind. Just a quick recap of how this works. You bring in your four mercenaries. You select this specific bounty and you complete the two encounters to get to this mystery. If it is the mysterious stranger, you select that, get a task for one of the mercenaries you are trying to get up to task seven for the equipment. If it is not one of the mysterious strangers, honestly, I just go and retire that run and restart. Now, if it is the mysterious stranger, especially if you get the tasks for beating the boss, then you can do the last remaining encounters to beat the boss and get the chest. Even just hitting retire, you do get some coins. They're all random. It's it's not for necessarily for what's in your party, but you at least get something. So there's not really a reason to not retire. And then my final tip for making this even faster, or if you're looking to use certain abilities that you need to complete for the tasks themselves, is you do not have to choose an ability for your mercenaries. So for example, if you had a task to work on using double strike for Samuro, you can select just that ability. And then the other ones, you just don't select an ability at all and just hit ready. Then the one mercenary that you selected the ability for will attack and basically that's your turn. So if you're looking to use certain abilities to complete tasks, you can do that and then repeatedly use that ability to grind that a little bit faster without selecting abilities for every mercenary every single time. And that's especially important if you're looking at abilities that have cooldowns that you can't use every single round. You can just not select anything. And especially this is why I mentioned bringing some higher level mercenaries because they're generally going to have higher health and running through these lower bounties aren't going to be as difficult. So you can afford to kind of just let your mercenaries get hit for a couple of rounds because they're still going to live. If this is what you're looking for and you really just want to hurry up and get to that task seven equipment for specific mercenaries. This is one of the fastest, easiest ways I have found to do that. And I hope this helped you out. If you liked this video, thank you so much for watching. Comment below with any other strategies that you have found or things that you've been finding make it a little bit easier and faster. If you're looking for even more tips, tricks, and advice, make sure to check out the playlists here as well.